taking away the electrons this way and that will form a partial positive charge here and a partial negative charge on this one and that will also create an instantaneous dipole moment that points in the following general direction and so what that means is these instantaneous partial charges will attract each other as a result of an electric force and that is what a London dispersion force is now London dispersion forces are the weakest because these exist only for a moment in time so at one moment they exist and another moment they don't exist and a third moment they exist once again and so that's why they're the weakest types but once again if we have many of these molecules in close in close proximity van der Waals forces London dispersion forces begin to play a very substantial role in holding the molecule together as we'll see in the structure of DNA so London dispersion forces are forces that exist because these electrons fluctuate over time so the electron density around atoms is not static but rather fluctuates with time the asymmetric distribution of one molecule as shown here can cause the electron density of a nearby, a nearby a molecule here to basically change in accordance with the law of repulsion. So we have these electrons repelling these electrons, creating a partial positive charge here, and these can interact for a moment in time, and this is what we mean by an instantaneous interaction, which is another way of saying London dispersion forces. So these are the two types of intermolecular forces that you should be familiar with in your study of biochemistry.